everybody welcome to my channel it's eva from bohemian crafting and today i'm coming to share with you idea which i shared in my uh, previous video uh, it was label making and i'm gonna be using my washi tapes for making my labels the background of my labels and uh, it's just because i want to add to this journal some more embellishments and i do believe these two washi tapes will match the journal really nicely so what i've got here i've got here some scraps of my decorative paper book pages and the washi tapes and i do have here these two designs the berries and this beautiful green um i forgot the name of that pattern but this pattern <laughs> And that's what, what I'm going to use for making my stickers, my labels. Uh, I can use these address labels as uh, the label top. Or I can cut the pieces I need in the size I need from my scraps. So that's what we're going to do today. I would like to make a different size of my uh, decorative labels. So that's why I do have different sizes of papers. So first I'm going to make again the, the labels the same way like I did uh, in my previous video with the journals from one sheet. And I'm going to be using this address sticker on the top. So I'm going to add this berry washi tape on one side of my book page. Now I would like to see part of this washi tape as an embellishment on the board, around the board of my label. So this is size which I'm going to be using for the inside of my label. So I'm going to measure here with the text. That text is kind of like navigator for me. If I will place it this way, I will see once I will cut the border around, I will see this pattern. So I can place another strip of my washi tape on the opposite side of my book page. That's actually will work, I think, the best way. So now I am making top of my label. And I can use this one on the bottom. So I'm going to get up back my label sticker. And I know I should place this second part somewhere here. And as it is end of my washi tape, here I'm going to be using glue to glue it down. So one more time to place it on the right spot. If I will place this one somewhere here, this should go somewhere here. So I'm going to place my washi tape right there. And now I can take my address label. I'm going to add there a little bit of glue. Even this is sticky. But to make sure it will hold nicely. And I'm going to place this one on the top. I'm gonna get up another one and here I do have same washi tape like this one so I can use part of this washi tape for my second label and if I will place it here my second layer should be somewhere here Now I can place my label over it. So this way I'm going to create labels for all that journal. <clears throat> kind of make them at the same time. A few of them. And this will go here. So somewhere here. I should place my washi tape yeah. 
somewhere here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take one of my decorative papers and create the label using this paper, this one. It's actually a good idea. Here. So for this last part, I'm going to grab one of my decorative papers and cut the piece I need to cover this last end, I think from here till somewhere between those two. Gonna cut the corners. So this will be here. And now I can take my scissors, I can cut off this extra and save it for decorating. And these I can cut between. the sticker and some similar with some similar uh, frame around so I will have base for my stickers and that will be collection for my book for my journal So I do have those basics. I can save these small parts uh, if I will want to use them somewhere to decorate maybe some small embellishments. So I can save all these small parts. Look, like this one will be a really cute frame. So I think I'm going to save a few of them and create even more clusters or embellishments. And these small labels, I can use some stamps. So I can stamp uh, some nice stamps on my stickers. I've got here these two collections from uh, Stampers Anonymous, Tim, uh, Tim Holtz stamps. One is correspondence and other one is field notes. And I do have here this beautiful collection I found last year on Etsy. And the name of the shop is Espresso Press Design. And these are called vintage labels. And they are really beautiful variety of vintage labels i showed that last year in some video and i really like them so i'm gonna be using these small designs to decorate my labels i, I think look at that beauty and you do have few colors you can use so i'm gonna be using these and decorate my little stickers or little labels and of course in the end I'm gonna be using Distress Ink. This time I'm gonna be using Vintage Photo from Ranger. So first, I think I'm gonna choose what label I'm gonna use for decorating these. I think because I already started to cut here, I'm gonna kind of continue. And I can use this one somewhere here so I'm gonna stamp in there I think I'm gonna pull out also this collection it's postcards I love those those signs so maybe that will be good to use this one 
Okay, so first this. And I'm going to use black ink and stamp there. Like this. Now I can try to see where I go. I can place it right here. I'm going to use my distress ink and distress all this. From field notes, I'm going to choose some number. Hmm. I think this is a small one. And red ink for that. Right here and this little label. Glue. So this I'm going to glue right here and maybe some number from my stickers on that opposite side or something. <laughs> yes. This one there, and I can fold it over. Yeah, why not? And I'm gonna distress it one more time with these layers. So I do have first label done, and I really like that that uh, around border because now I can match it. gonna tidy up my table so now I can make some beautiful spread on my papers be somewhere here I can use this label including with this beautiful washi tape <coughs> and kind of match them all together so if I will place that washi tape right here Then I can take my label and kind of like continue with same pattern on that label and create maybe pockets with this. Right here. And it will be matching together. So to making washi tapes using oh washi tapes labels using washi tape, it's a wonderful idea how you can put together a design on your journal pages. So I'm gonna make a few more. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be using my off cuts. So this is quite nice size. So I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna cut it to the straight strip so I will know the size. And here. So this strip I would like to use for creating another labels. I think I will cut it on a few pieces, probably two. Uh, two lines will be one label. Again, two lines will be one label. And I'm going to take the book page as my background again. I'm going to be using this washi tape and glue that washi tape on the side of my book page. And here I'm going to draw how far I will go with my paper. And so probably somewhere here. And if I will count my washi tape, so somewhere here. I should cut that paper off so I will have 
nice strip of book page. So now I know where I'm supposed to put the other strip of my washi tape. So I do have sides of my future labels and now I'm gonna put one strip of washi tape right here. Cut my scrap in the size I want for my label. And I would like to have those <coughs> cut, uh, those cut um, corners. So I'm gonna be using my corner punch to punch the corners. So I do have this size of my label. If I will place it here, I know here on this text I should have another layer of my washi tape. So I'm going to cover that text with my washi tape. Now I can grab the glue, put the glue on my piece of paper. And stick it right here. And I'm gonna cut another strip of this scrap paper. Again, I'm gonna cut the corners. And again, I'm gonna place my label with the nice gap between these two because I'm gonna be cutting between them. So I need border with this washi tape around this label and border with this washi tape around this label as well. So I'm gonna keep their nice gap. So here, this text should be covered with the washi tape. So I'm gonna place there that washi tape. So the text on that book page, it's kind of helping me where I supposed to put another strip of my washi tape. So then all my labels will get enough of that washi tape all around. Now I'm going to place this one here. And I'm going to continue till the end or till I am... Uh, scrapping this scrap. I glued all my scraps on that strip of book page and now I'm gonna grab the ruler and knife. I was kind of able to put this straight-ish <laughs> one under another one. So I think I'm able to cut the sides down a little bit using ruler and knife. I can save this one for making another decorations using this washi tape. Same I'm gonna do on that opposite side. Kinda manage to have same gap ish. I think this way. And again, I can save this one to make another decorations. And now, oops, now that rest, I can cut with my scissors just between.
manage to cut the opposite side and the corners I can keep this way as they are here or I can use the same corner cutter corner punch and cut the corners using this corner punch so they will be matching those first corners on my white label I mean on that base and that way I have created a collection of matching labels and I'm gonna be using again stamps maybe some stickers and that is how your stickers can look like you can create create a really beautiful collection of stickers for your journal so then you have easy way how to uh, how to match them together with your washi tapes I hope you did enjoy this tutorial I hope I gave you some good idea how you can make your own labels thank you so so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a wonderful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye